Hello to all my friends out there, and this is Bake Apple Strudel with me, part two. Okay, now let me show you the recipe. So if your, if your dough comes out good, which it should, if you, if you get a good recipe, the trick is you have to let it rest for one hour. Here's the recipe. Okay, I, I'm making it the way, you know, I, I make it. Uh, this is a really good recipe though. Okay, I stretch my dough as tight as I could and I spread butter. I didn't melt butter and you know stretched around. I just rolled it around and then I, I put some sliced really some sliced apples and some raisins and then I grated some raw brown sugar that's going to be good and then just to make sure it's sweet enough because this is going to taste good if it's not sweet enough I have a little you know it. this is like Okay, now this is a really important recipe, and I'll tell you why. You know, um, when I was working in this one shop, they would get on uh, commodities, you know? And I could tell they had really no idea what to do with it. Um, you know, uh, like uh, mixing gravy with um, vegetables. You know, if you are going to... If, if that is going to be your food, it'd be much better with with uh, some potatoes. I try to explain it to them. Okay, so now I just want to roll this, carefully roll this up into a little like jelly roll. No big deal. No special technique. Uh, I don't think it has to be rolled super, super tight. Just roll it up. This is why I only made one. I mean, this is a big one, you know, by the time you get it all rolled up. I'm just gonna pinch it shut. Okay, and so I bottled another one, another, uh, let's see if I can get it over there. It's okay if it's bent a little bit. Okay, so now I have some egg white. So see how easy this is? So, okay, let's say uh, you should get some canned fruit, some bags of fruit. Some, some kind of fresh fruit, frozen fruit, any kind of fruit. You, This is egg white, beaten egg white. And then as soon as my bread comes out, I'll pop this in the oven. This is going to be good. And the reason this is such a valuable uh, recipe is because you can use your stockpiled fruit. You know those big cans of, big, big cans of, of fruit? You know, uh, this is really good with canned pears or fresh pears. You could put uh, pie filling in these. You could put anything you want in them. It's your strudel. All right, let me give you, so, okay. Let me give you one more shot of the recipe. It's everything you have in the stock pile. Flour, margarine, you could use shortening, I suppose. Egg, you could use egg replace, replacer. Water, butter, sugar, cinnamon, um, apples, currants, egg white, and powdered sugar. 
You could use frosting, a little frosting if you don't have powdered sugar. Okay, I will be back. <laughs>